The following Best of Central Florida program is sponsored in part by Greater Orlando Realty USA, Inc., Touchstone Real Estate, You Have Realty, LPT Realty, Wine for Oysters Bar and Bites, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. Welcome to the Best of Central Florida. I am Justin Clark. I will never forget. The year was 2002. I was in law school in Boston, hanging out at the Beantown Pub to be exact. A classmate comes over, introduces himself. He said he was from Orlando. I was shocked. I thought Orlando was theme parks, chain restaurants, maybe a water park or two. Who would have thought that now, 20 years later, I would have lived here for 15 of them? Who would have thought I would raise my two little girls here? Who would have thought I would fall in love with Central Florida? It's a hidden gem from the great restaurants, the sports teams, booming art scene, the Wakaiva River, the beaches, and yes, even the theme parks, from Windermere to Melbourne, and also to Maitland and Groveland. This is the best of Central Florida. What a show lined up for you today. Who would have ever thought during this pandemic, our real estate market in Central Florida would absolutely skyrocket. What a better week than to visit the best real estate companies in Central Florida. Bring in as always, my dear friend, the beautiful Michaela Nichols. Hello, Michaela, how are you? Good. You're a little younger than me. You've made that very clear all the yep. time I get that. Uh, <laughs> You're a first time home buyer. I think you're gonna like this show too because we have people who are, are, are investors who have bought a lot of houses, people who haven't bought a house yet who are going to want to buy a home. And that's what this show is about today. It's who is the best? Who do we trust when it comes to actually purchasing a home or investing in real estate here in Central Florida? Now I was here during the bust of 2008, many of you were as well, and you're wondering, wow, this market has skyrocketed. Are we gonna have another bust here in Central Florida? My opinion is the answer is resoundingly no, I am bullish on this real estate market in Central Florida, but I think one of the most important decisions that you make when it comes to buying or selling real estate is choosing that agent or that broker. Michaela, it's gonna be a great show today. Wow. You're gonna to learn a lot. I, I, already, I know a little bit about this, but are you ready to go? I am. Here's what we're gonna do. Very quick break, and when we return, the three top Central Florida real estate companies. The following Best of Central Florida, Michaela's Choice, is sponsored in part by Greater Orlando Realty USA, Inc. and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. So I'll be honest, I'm a little bit younger than, uh, than this one. And uh, yeah. I find myself, I, it's true. I know. I find myself learning so much about the real estate market, but I have to trust the best. So Michaela's choice for best real estate company is the Greater Orlando Realty. And I'm joined by Greg Mann, who has been doing this for quite some time, 20 years. He's 22 said. years, actually, wow. yeah. 22 yep. years. Had the brokerage for just over 10 years, so. Incredible. So what separates you from you know the regular real estate agent, so to speak? Well, I think a lot of things do. Um, we offer a, a, a complete service. We just don't do residential sales. We do residential sales. We do residential property management. We do commercial sales and, and management too. So I think that separates us a little bit. Most definitely. And so when I hear that, that goes kind of a little bit over my head at first. So when I hear property management, so you're overseeing the entire property, who's coming in, who's going out. Absolutely. So what happens is, let's just say you had a property that you wanted to, to put in rental. We take mm -hmm. it over and we look after it. You go off and enjoy life and just pick up checks once a month. Yeah. That sounds pretty easy and it's... It's easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me ask a question about that actually, because I know we have a lot of uh, international investors who are coming to Central Florida now. You make it easy for them because you're going to handle the real estate transaction, but they're going to be there to handle the property management while they're over in England or down in Brazil or wherever they are. Yeah, absolutely. We got people all around the world. We got like, the furthest away is Australia. Wow. So wow. simply, we have a, an online portal for the for the property management, and the and the owners can use that, so they can see stuff pretty much live time. Right. And occasionally we need to call them. And we hear all about you know people investing in Robinhood now or Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't do real estate. I'm putting all my money into Bitcoin. How do you see investing in real estate going right now and through the rest of the year? 
It's it's still strong, honestly. If, it doesn't matter what market you in, you're in. I've, I've seen the, the worst market and the best markets. So see, people still purchase it and do well with yeah. real estate. For instance, if you buy a house now for three hundred thousand, by the time you close, it's gone up five thousand. You know, a year's time, it's if the market keeps going, you've you've gained another twenty thousand dollars at least on the house, thirty thousand dollars. So it's real all good. What is important for me to look at when I'm looking to invest in real estate, knowing I'm not going to live there, I'm buying an investment property. Am I looking at my monthly payment, what I can rent it for? What do I really need to do the math on? Well, what you need to look at is obviously the cost of the house and what your monthly payment will be if you've got a, a loan on the property. And once you've got that, it's pretty easy. We can work out what you, what else you need to do, but you've got to look at location too. Yeah. You know, the best locations get the top dollar. And when I have an event, I'm sorry, I'm stealing no. your thunder today. I, <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm jumping in, Michael. I apologize. You can hit me later or whatever. Uh, how much do I need to budget? When I have an investment property, I know what the mortgage is going to be. I know what the electricity bill is going to be. Yeah. What do I budget for for unexpected expenses, though? The refrigerator goes out, the washing machine breaks. How do I budget for that? What we always tell people is that if you've got a mortgage on the property, at least get one month in front of it. Okay. And then have, you know, if you've got $5,000 that you can keep somewhere, that's great. But what we've done with our vendors, we've but we've negotiated a 30 day um, invoicing process. Mm. So we can fix something in your house now and you don't pay for it for another 30 days. So it gives you a little bit of time and heads up to get some money together. A, a trust factor though too with my property management company. I have to trust that you guys are gonna come in and, and charge me what the, the charge is really going yep. to be. Or you're not gonna mark it up and that sort of thing. How, how do you really develop that trust with your clients, with that trust with the properties you manage? Well, it's all about actually, you know, having conversations, meeting people, showing them that you're professional, showing them the fees that we charge, and having a great team to back it up. Because honestly, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, the owners will talk to or communicate with our processors a lot more than, than you think. Right. So it's all about trust. Got it. Well said. Well, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> thank you, Justin, and uh, thank you, Greg. Job, Obviously, Greg. you know your stuff, and uh, congratulations on winning Michaela's Choice. And we'll hey, thanks be thanks very much. Appreciate it. Of course, and we'll be right back after the short break. This portion of the Best of Central Florida is sponsored in part by IQ Power Solar. I'm here with Stephen Bader, the COO of IQ Power Solar. Steve, as you know, I went solar at my house with IQ Power Solar. Thank goodness that I did. There are a lot of door knocking companies out there. There are a lot of these sales organizations that pretend to do solar. They are not IQ Power Solar. What separates you? Well, yeah, I mean, it's an exciting industry and a lot of people are getting into it. And uh, that's a good thing, right? For the most part, no one says, oh, I want to just put as many panels on the roof. That's not a good investment. We understand home energy. We understand how to get the best return on your investment. And we understand that at the end of the day, you're not buying a solar system. No one says, I can't wait to get up and look at my system. You're buying an outcome. So that's what we focus on. We focus on an outcome, a promise, someone to hold accountable for that promise, and, a, and you know, a 40 year commitment to it. So that's what we do. Uh, really what made us switch to solar was our electric bill was insane. It was six, seven hundred dollars a month. What made me choose IQ Power was I had a bunch of people obviously come knock on my door um, and I just went through and did some research on it. I liked that they were all under one contract. It wasn't uh, multiple contractors. Everything was handled through the same uh, individual um, and they knocked everything out in a timely manner and really worked it out for us. They had the best warranties and guarantees in the business, and my wife really liked that. Um, they were fantastic to, uh, to work with. Thank you for what you did for me and my family, Steve, IQ Power Solar. Do yourself a favor, give IQ Power Solar a call today. You will not regret that decision. It's my pleasure, thanks for having me. The following Best of Central Florida People's Choice is sponsored in part by Touchstone Real Estate and Sofila Radio and Television Productions. You have spoken, the people have spoken. People's Choice this week for Best Real Estate Business goes to our good friend over at Touchstone Real Estate. She is the owner of Touchstone. It's Addie Owens. Addie, how are you? Great to see you. Very good, thank you. The list of accomplishments may be unrivaled when it comes to real estate in Central Florida that you have here. 2022 Florida State President of the Residential Real Estate Council, 2020 President of the Realtors Association of Lake and Sumter. You're a public speaker, much like this one. Lake County Board of Adjustments. You're a real estate broker. I mean, it's a little bit of everything. What are you the most proud of? 
Oh, All gosh. Of it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that I'm most proud of, to be honest with you. Um, getting this far in my business and experiencing as much as I have and still standing, you know, in spite of the last 17 years, yeah. um, that's what I'm proud of. And I'm proud of helping families. You're also a real estate appraiser, which really gives you an it. No? No, I, that's where I started my career. Oh, you as started an as an appraiser, though. Yeah. So you have that experience, which which yeah. has to help you when you go in to, to visit a family and they say, what, what is my house worth? I mean, you were yeah. a, a working appraiser back mm -hmm. in the day. How does that help you? Oh, substantially. In yeah. fact, you know, when the, the market tanked, that's what I leaned on was right. my appraisal background. And actually I'm getting my license again. I'll have to be a trainee for like three years. <laughs> Is that and right? then, yeah, I should never have let my license go. <laughs> you know, when someone's looking for an agent, whether it's to sell their home or, or to buy a home, how does that experience that you have really separate you from, from other brokers, other agents out there? From the appraisal perspective? it's In general, from yeah. all this experience that you have. Oh God, you just have a much more broad view, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of agents will come in, they've got limited experience. They don't know that they've got to look at so many different moving parts in order to come up with a proper valuation on a house or a suggestion on a list price and how things ebb and flow within the industry and what impacts it. Um, it's, it's just a broad perspective. You know, when you're a member of all these organizations, the president mm -hmm. of these organizations, obviously you're going to form very strong bonds and relationships in the real estate community. How does your relationships help me as a buyer or a seller? I know who to call. Yeah. <laughs> I know who to call. I don't, I, you know, with 18, 17 to 18 years worth of relationships yeah. in the business, and especially nationally, it's not just my statewide relationships, it's the national relationships that I've developed over the last, you know, 17 years. It definitely makes an impact. You know, maybe we didn't see this pandemic doing this to the market where the market has skyrocketed mm -hmm. during a pandemic. We might yeah. have said, you know, now we're all saying we knew it was going to happen, but I don't think yeah. we really knew exactly what was going to happen. I mean, we're talking about right. 20, 25 offers on, on a single listing. It's crazy, but a lot of yeah. people at home now are thinking, should I buy a house now? What's going to happen with this market the rest of this year? What do you see happening? Well, uh, economists predict that Florida's in a very good position, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, I think that Florida is going to continue to increase as far as equity is concerned. You still have a major drive for Floridians, um, people coming in from out of state and making Florida their home. You've got over a thousand people a day moving into Florida. That's huge. And no one sees that stopping anytime soon. So is it a great time to buy? Absolutely. Interest rates are still low, but they are increasing. So affordability will be impacted within the next probably 12 to 15 months. Yeah. When I look at studies for the real estate market at United States of America as a whole, do I need to kind of carve out Florida? Is Florida different than the rest of the country in some ways? Clearly Florida is very different. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we've proven that in the last two years. I mean, we have so much that's attracting people to the state. You've got the great weather, um, great governance, um, plenty of vacant land, you know, builders, builders love Florida. Um, there's a lot to love. <laughs> Addie Owens, real estate broker extraordinaire. Always good to mm -hmm. see you. Hope Thanks to see you, you soon too. on the other show as well. Always a pleasure to, to, to just to get to know you. You're amazing, incredible. Awesome. She is Appreciate like out, out of this world, incredible. Awesome. Thank you. Excellent job. Here's what we're going to do. Quick break. When we return, Justin's Choice is next. The following Best of Central Florida, Justin's Choice, is sponsored in part by You Have Realty, LPT Realty, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. And finally, on this beautiful Saturday, it's time for Justin's Choice and Justin's Choice for Best Real Estate Company goes to our good friends and a huge congratulations to Vivian Lehman with you have real thing. Hello, Vivian. You. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks. How important when I'm choosing an agent, whether for buying or selling, uh -huh. is the experience of that agent or in your case, broker? I think it's very important because they can tailor your experience to really benefit you to make it as seamless as possible. What do you think is going to happen in this real estate market over the next nine months or so? It's obviously been skyrocketing during the pandemic. Uh, a lot of people think that that it might continue to go up. Some people say it's going to level out. I don't hear anyone saying that we're going to have a, a, a bubble burst like we did in 2008. What do you see happening? I don't believe the bubble's going to burst. I do think that it will level out to the extent that it's not going to drop 
you know, we're not going to have that big burst. Yeah. But at the same time, I think we're going to get more things on the market and we're seeing that too at this point. How important is the location of my agent or broker? When, when I say that, I mean, let, let's say that I live in the northern part of the Central Florida area. Do I want to hire someone who is right there, ultra local, or does that really matter? It does matter because they may know other agents in the area too that might have a deal, especially in this market yeah. where it's so crazy. Right. Yeah. What do you think separates you? What makes you guys so good? What made you Justin's choice today? Well, I, I am bilingual, oh, which helps. Yeah. <laughs> right. But at the same time, I think we, we also offer something that is all encompassing. We'll have title, you know, insurance, mortgage, and I can track everything from beginning to end. What about the big box store agents? When I say that there are, you know, some brokers around here that you see do national television yeah. advertising, or you've just heard of them for years and years. How important is that whole national brand when it comes to me hiring an agent? Or, or is it not important at all? I found, and I'll, I'll say it, I started out with Cobble Banker, yeah. and yes, it helped me at the beginning because they have training and so, and so forth. But at the same time, I realized that when I went out to a listing, that person was hiring me because of me, yeah. not for Cobble Banker. And Cobble Banker does help you in certain things, or the big box will help you with certain things. But at the same time, it's up to you to market. It's your money. It's everything. And I can see that from an agent. But let's say I'm looking to sell my house. Do, do I want to hire a, an agent with two years of experience that works at the, the big box store? Or am I better off hiring a more experienced agent that might have a, a smaller local real estate company? I believe in the smaller local. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet. I bet. But I believe that too. You know, that yeah. If you were starting out in the real estate business and you're becoming an agent, maybe it's not a bad idea to work at, at a big company uh -huh. at the beginning and, and, and kind of get your feet wet, so to speak. But I think if you're looking to, to hire an, an agent or a broker yeah. to sell your house or to buy a house, I don't necessarily think that, that it matters where they work, it matters the experience of that agent. Yeah, it does. And where they work too, um, you know, our MLS system is geared towards Central Florida. So that gives me the opportunity to help somebody get anywhere from Kissimmee to DeBerry. Vivian Lehman, you have yeah. Realty. I've known you for a long time. You do a great job. Congratulations <laughs> on, on being Justin's choice today. Oh, my pleasure. I, I, I don't want to ask, but how many years now? I mean, you, you 20. Got, 20, you hit the 20, 20 year mark. 20, 20 year years mark. experience. Yeah. You've done some for me uh, and, yeah. and my family too. So thank you. As thank always, you. keep up the great work. A little special treat <laughs> for you coming up next with a major announcement as Best of Central Florida continues. And here is the surprise, and I'm so happy to be able to announce it right here on this TV show. Michaela, you're going to be blown away. Let me welcome in a special guest here, Matthew Buckley. You're with LPT Realty, and this yep. is what I want to talk about right now. LPT Realty is by far and away the newest, hottest trend in all of real estate. I'm not talking about Florida. I'm talking about through America. LPT Realty is the next big thing. What is LPT Realty? That's what we're saying. So LPT is listed power tools. Uh, we're basing this off, we say real estate reimagined. Yeah. We are focusing all of the aspects of real estate from uh, direct mail to stock, to revenue sharing, to you know, agent branding. Um, this is truly the next big thing. Yeah, and you're a great agent too. I know LPT Realty loves having you, but it's a whole different way of doing real estate. If you are a real estate agent right now, you've got to check out LPT Realty because it's sort of a one-stop shop for you. You don't have any heavy lifting providing all the marketing materials, yep. putting you on TV shows, yep, yep. putting you on billboards. I have never seen anything like it. It's run by you know one of our good friends yep. and probably the smartest guy that it's I know, Palmer. Robert yep. Palmer, of course. Uh, how has that changed your career now, now that you switched to LPT Realty? Yeah, so he completely, you know, took my mindset and my marketing skills, yeah. my performance, completely revamped that, and he made me think bigger. Uh, like you said, it, it is a one-stop shop. From the direct mail, to the team building, to the atmosphere, and what we're doing is called LPT Socials. Right. So we're creating this atmosphere and events for agents to bring on new uh, agents, to revamp their teams, and I'm telling you, it's something special. And not only is he doing all the marketing for you, you know, you can focus on real estate. You don't yep. need to focus on going and creating direct mail and business cards yep. and all this sort of thing. Literally all of the marketing for your listing is done for you. But there's a chance if you get on the ground floor, you're gonna maybe have some equity in this whole thing too. And that's the big thing. You know, this is a ground level opportunity. Uh, we're about early in, 30 days in, we're touching 500 agents. 
Um, so at 20 to 25 That's a day, crazy. we plan to do about 10,000 uh, this year alone. Unbelievable. And we plan to go public in the next 36 months. So That's, now, is, now the is the time. You've heard of some other agencies out there that people got in yep. early and that ship has kind of sailed. Yep. This is LPT Realty is the next big thing in real estate. If you were an agent thinking about becoming an agent, seriously consider hanging your license at LPT. Now, how about you? What area do you focus on most? So I strictly focus on Seminole and Volusia County. Uh, again, I go from the Florida Keys to the Georgia Lines. So yeah. I'm young, ambitious, and I <laughs> hustle. But uh, I specialize in Volusia Seminole. Uh, but like I said, we're growing a team across Tampa markets, wow. Jacksonville markets, down south, and we're touching here in Orlando now. So, How long have you been doing real estate? And what is some of the satisfaction you get working with these families? So I have been doing it uh, going on six years. And last year alone, I saved over $200,000 in closing costs for my buyers. Wow. Uh, but it's truly just making people's you know dreams become a reality saving them money connecting them with the top professionals and guiding them along one of the biggest purchases of their life yeah what do you see with this market over the next year it's been crazy obviously for at least i'm no two genie years. i don't I have know. that uh, magic eight ball but, but they're if predicting, you had to guess what do you think they're predicting another 15 percent wow uh, with interest rates on the From rise now till the end of the year maybe 15 more 15 percent more up. percent they're saying is now the time to buy i mean let, let's say that someone is sitting on the sidelines they haven't purchased a house yet they're waiting on the rates to go back down or they're waiting on the, the market to go back down. Do you think it's a great idea to wait right now? I always say the best deal was yesterday. Yeah. So whether that is today or tomorrow, the best deal was yesterday. And you know, current interest rates at four, four and a half percent, that is still a good rate. Yeah. We were kind of spoiled with the record lows of two, two and a half. Absolutely. Uh, but like I said, best deal was yesterday. And I see a lot of the snowbirds in the California, the Texas, capitalizing on their sales there, upsizing, buying investments, stuff like that here. So. Matthew Buckley, great job, buddy. Thank LPT you, man. Realty, I yes. mean, what a great organization. It's the next big the thing next in real estate. I have no I, no doubt about it. Thank yep. you for yep. coming here. Thank you. Michaela, what did you learn today? I know oh, that you're I... a novice in real estate. Did mm -hmm. you learn some stuff? I did. All and right. I'm surrounded by the pros. So. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> great job as always. Hey, thank you to our WKMG crew. Special thanks though to you for watching. Do me a favor, hit record series now, and we'll see you next weekend for more Best of Central Florida. I am joined by my good friends at Winefort Oysters, Tatiana and Andre, and we are going to say shuck yeah. Shuck yeah. Shuck, shuck, shuck yeah. yeah. And talk about everything related to oysters. What makes y'all different than most oyster bars? We serve oysters 15 different ways. You <laughs> name it, we got it. Exactly. From all over the world, you can try them the Asian style, well, you can try them New Orleans style, the classic Rockefeller, the oysters from Australia. We got it all from raw, steamed, broiled, baked, all of them. Absolutely phenomenal. And let's say there's someone watching who's like, mm, I don't know about oysters. You guys have amazing other dishes on the menu. Oh, absolutely. If you don't like oysters, we have uh, the seafood that you can try, scallops and then shrimp, stone crabs when they're in season, of course, and uh, um, shrimp, peeling it, whatever you want. And if you don't eat that, it's okay. We can understand that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we have the other tapas that's uh, land related. I absolutely love that. And you know, one of the things you said earlier is stress-free. And I love that. It's a stress-free vibe. It's shucky. Yeah. I mean, not only are you going in for a fun day, maybe a happy hour, something of that nature. What really resonates with those who come to you and uh, hang out? Well, we are a neighborhood bar. It's a small place, but very welcoming. We do have a happy hour where everybody is welcome doing uh, oyster shooters at the bar and uh, eating oysters by the dozen, drinking beer at the local our Orlando Central Florida beer on tap. Yeah, and our bartenders is really welcoming. They like to talk with everybody, whatever you are regular or coming for the first time. So we have things to discuss. Awesome, well do yourself a favor and check out my friends at Wine for Oysters and where can they find that information? Wineforoysters.com you can find us online, Facebook, Instagram, we everywhere. The preceding Best of Central Florida program was sponsored in part by Greater Orlando Realty USA Inc., Touchstone Real Estate, You Have Realty, LPT Realty, Wine for Oysters Bar and Bites, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions.